time for another greenhouse tour. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and in today's video, we're gonna look around the Bosland in Oostgeest, which is quite close to my house. And I'm just here because we're shopping next door for some DIY stuff. And my boyfriend said there is a garden center nearby. You know that, right? <laughs> so I'm like, I'm coming. <laughs> Let's go look at the plants. Look at this. It looks so cute with the pots in a little beautiful cabinet and all plants around it. They really try and make it look really nice and not just stuff. I really appreciate that. Here are some specials that we're going to look at in a moment. But let's start with the more normal plants that also deserve some love. Schiffleras. I love the new baby leaves on these. Red pots, lots of red pots. And some anthuriums. Ooh, these palms look very cool. Wait, I think I saw these on someone's channel recently. Very tropical looking. Over on this side is the hanging plants section, which of course is a favorite. Lots of nepenthes. Nepenthes. I'm losing words now. Nepenthes, yes. With the pictures. Also lots of ashiantus lipstick plants, variegated. Over on this side is usually more hoyas, yes. Look at the linearis, quite long. Oh, prices, these are all around 10 euros. Here's a crinkle age, here's a memoria. More um, linearises and a crimson queen, all the same price. So, uh, let's see, anything else that's special? We've got some breviolatas here that I haven't seen here before, so that's pretty cool. And this is a Lisa, also same price. These are labeled, yeah, some of them are labeled correctly. You can see they really try, but the general sticker says just general Hoya. Look at this beautiful Lisa. Oh shoot, look at these Vandas. These are orchids that have a lot of roots. As you can see, these are very jungly and they usually sit in a tiny pot and just have the roots dangling and you dunk them in water to water them every now and then. But look at the colors on them. That's beautiful. What's the price on this? 40. Nice, with several flower spikes. This might be random for some of you, but I used to love orchids a lot, so I know something about it, not a lot, but something. Here is the Calathea Isle, of course. Always, there are many different kinds, the medallion. I don't know all of the words. Some of them I know them, but... <laughs> oh, look at this Kyostar that has a fully white slash pink leaf. That's beautiful, just hidden in there. It's like a forest. You can't even see the pots, but I assume prices are like... Oh, even cheaper than I thought, around seven euros. I don't know how they can grow them for this price, but that's a very cool one. I've always wanted to try one of these, but I'm not really... Oh, and these are probably... I think they're all reclassified as Grupertia. This looks like a newer kind that I haven't seen yet. There's a Sabrina mixed in there as well. And just a lot of different kinds. Beautiful. Some Spatophyllums as well, and then the Grupertia Mosaica, or is this the Sananti? There's two na new names for them. And some Marantas, I haven't seen these in a while. The little uh, tricolor ones. I love these, they're so easy to grow and so pretty. This plant section is looking great as well. The Epipronum Aureum Neon, the Neon Pothos, with always nice spots of variegation, these are 10. And there's pots of Monstera Spiperu, which are looking bushy as well. What's your price, sir? 12. Labeled Marble Planet. And then we've got a Marble Queen, Epipremnum, 10 euros. Let's see, normal Philodendron Scandens for 10 as well. And some Brazil, looking nice. 
These look like the Amplissimum. Yes. These are 25. They're quite cool with the longer leaves. Lots of micans over here. So cool. That is your price. 13 on a nice little rack climby thing. So that's handy. You don't have to think about how you're gonna moss pull them up yet. And then some Epipernum panatums that are really nice and will start to fenestrate if you give them some support. These are seven and it says blue form. It's not um, Cebu blue, but it's something that is apparently a little bit more blue or maybe not, but it looks cool either way. I used to have one before I died in the fire at my parents' house. Ooh, these are actually really cool as well. These are the neon philodendron. It says philodendron mykins lime, but seven euros. I love the shape of these and the look of these. Really cute, really cute little yellow hearts. And then we've got some tetraspermas as well. These are eight euros. They are quite cute. I've never bought one because I thought they didn't look that cute, but they actually do look quite cute. I have to admit it. Look at that, the big fenestrations. So the skin doctors picked us our grayest 10 euros. I know nothing of these, so tell me if the ID is wrong. Lots of baby plants. They still have some of the huge painted ladies that just look really cool. Especially, I don't know if you've ever looked inside them. <laughs> like we're undressing them but the red and the pink is beautiful and there's so many plants in this one look at all the extra floral nectaries over there if you don't know what your plant is doing this is very normal it kind of i think it's meant to attract ants which is then protecting the plant against pests so fun facts for you oh look at all these pots so cute See, the thing is, I love pots like this, but I never buy them because I'm so chaotic. My house would be packed with different ones and I just stay with the white ones usually and a few turquoise ones, but they're so cute to see. Here's the other side of that aisle we've already seen. So we're skipping over to the turquoise pots. No, we're not. <laughs> Some uh, cacti. And I've been looking more into cacti and also um, just succulents because of the greenhouse. I think these are euphorbias, right? Oh, and they're growing. Look at that, that's very cool. I've never seen them actively grow before. I had some kind of dream where I had one of these, but with the white in the greenhouse, a really, really big one. So maybe I will do that. <laughs> Here are some, these are just popping with little, I don't know if they are berries or fruits or just growth, but they are very, very proliferous. Is that a word? I don't know. It's pretty early in the morning, guys. Excuse my language. So let me know in the comments what you think about my new interest, slight interest in cacti and succulents. Do you like them or not? I would love to hear. I just realized I totally skipped this aisle. <laughs> Whoops. This is a table with also some specials. Look at that. So we're going to look at them up close as well. Some caladiums, different kinds. I don't know what this one is. I don't know all the IDs. I just know some of them that I personally have. I wonder if this is a candidum, but looks different. It doesn't say. Because I have one that looks a lot like this. And that's called caladium candidum. But this does look different. Or doesn't it? I don't know. Looks very cool because if you don't know, some caladiums are like see-through. Can you see my fingers moving through the leaf? Not through the leaf. Yeah, you can see through the leaf. My fingers moving behind it here as well. See? That's why I love them. And the price of these are ooh, 16. I think they must all be 16. Oh, and look at this. This one is flowering and the flower has a similar pattern. That's pretty cool. Look, the leaf and the flower. I wonder if the red ones then get red flowers. Wouldn't that be so interesting? Oh, here we are. We can find out today. Yes, they do. Did you know that about caladiums? Tell me in the comments. Here are lots of Syngonium Podophyllum Elbow Variegata. Elbow Marginata, they call them here. 
90 euros and they are quite full big plants with really good variegation as well look there's you just have to look through the green as well because i've noticed that they always grow some green but then also some bright white some pink splash i don't know the name of this one oh it's very expensive though red spot 160. i think these are very popular i don't necessarily like syngonium in general so i hope you enjoy seeing these because i'm showing them for you it's really cute they have a lot of pink these and i like that they're already making the the lobes like some of them have the almost the the third version of the lobe already see so that's pretty cool <clears throat> i'm gonna have to message my friends oh this one has the actual one already see if they want one because this is pretty cute i guess for that price it's not an easy to decision to let someone else do that for you uh here are some more smaller syngonium variegated these are only 40. hey influencer husband is here hi poopy look how pretty and some syngonium frost which have been around for a while here in holland 10 euros Oh, and I didn't show you the red ones because they've also been around for a while. These are seven. There's so many. My boyfriend just joined us and I was right. He really likes these palms. And I wonder if these are the ones that Irene showed in her video where they are completely circular almost, the leaves, because those were very pretty. They are 80 euros and the name, I'm gonna go put you in the pot to see the name. Look. This is the central special table. So they've got the painted ladies over here that are 70 with nice full pots. Some Monstera variegata, looking very healthy and happy. These are 140s. So the prices are still going up even in the most affordable garden centers here in Holland. So I'm guessing that the growers are also trying to make their money. <laughs> Is that rude to say? I don't know. Here they have Monstera Pinita Partita Pinatita. Oh geez, Pinati Partita. 120. And they are starting to fenestrate, which is very cool to see. Excuse the noise, by the way. It started to rain. I don't know if you can hear it, but that might be some loud background noise. Sorry. Here are the pipers that we saw previously as well. They get a really nice pink tan sometimes if they get enough light, I think. 60. Beautiful fried eggs, which are actually Mycolitiana Maxkowski. Look at this. Oh, I love this plant. It's hard to film because the, the dark velvet comes across as light gray, but it's actually quite dark. And the price, where is the price? Up here. 50. Pretty good. Then we've got some mojitos, I think. Pilea peperomioides mojito. They look really cool, actually, these ones. I wasn't really into them before, but these have nice variegation. And the price, 30 euros. Let me know, do you like these or no? I'm curious. And then on this side, ooh, <laughs> the rain is getting louder and louder. This is a Brontianum, I think. Yes, these are 38. And I have these now and the silver is incredible. I just got a cutting, I traded with a friend because it looked so amazing in her terrarium and it was so bright, the silver. So really cool to see them here as well now. So more people can get them. More Monsteras. Always cool to show you. And that's it for this table. So we're gonna move over to the next space. Look, I found some Hoyas that are budding up. So whoever buys this gets really nice flowers very soon. Cause look, this one plant has lots of tendrils and here's another one. I think this is a Crimson Princess, as you can see here from the inner variegation. And it is 13 euros. Can you believe that? All of it is 13. Here's another one. There's some more Vandas. And some Crimson 
queens that's, that are 16 with the fully white fine. I can't show you because it's really high up, but the queens have the outer variegation, remember? Oh, the light is much better from this side. Hold on. So here are the queens. There's a big Buddha head. <laughs> and here are some more Vanda orchids in different colors. These are 33. I like that color as well. It's really cool. Okay, enough flowers. Let's, ooh, caladiums. Let's move over here. <laughs> All the pink is attracting me. Even the pots are super adorable. Like, not a lot of pink, but just a little. And then the, oh, the, it doesn't want to go back. The little Australis Lisas. Can't see the price, but I'll show you in a different spot probably. Beautiful. And this, I think this is a spring fling, but I'm not quite sure. This is absolutely stunning. I was thinking about buying a bulb of this because it's so beautiful. Ooh, and look, we found probably the most expensive plant that they have here. <laughs> the variegated Adansoni variegata. It says price upon request. I'm guessing it's about 2000. Nice, looks pretty good. What do you think? Do you like these? I'm asking you a lot of questions today. If feel chatty. <laughs> Here's more of the spring fling. Let's see if we can find the price. Spring fling, ha! Huh? 16 euros. So that's really cool. And ooh, variegation. <laughs> One of my friends says that whenever she sees little spots of variegation. She has a hashtag, check it out. Ooh, variegation. Some begonias back here. And anthuriums. Just the regular kind that we grow here in Holland. And the dark ones. And the small ones and the big ones and all the colors. <laughs> in this aisle, there's some aglionemas. And they're actually quite cool looking because the variegation is so almost like caladium like. This new leaf. Beautiful. And some more pink looking ones. I have no idea of the names of these, but the label says Red Star 15. All the different aglionemas and maybe Diefenbachia. Yeah, these are Diefenbachia. Here's a Diefenbachia reflector with the velvet leaves. Probably there's some more over here. Yeah, these are 10 euros. Really nice. Ooh, look here. These are huge. I love these now for the greenhouse, so looking more into big leafed alocasias because we both like them, my boyfriend and I both like them. But we already have the big Zabrina in there. If you haven't seen my video of the greenhouse, check it out here. It just went live today when I'm filming this, which is probably a few weeks from when you're watching it because I still need to edit. Uh, there's lots of different dark ones looking really nice. Some pink ones as well, 13. Oh, I didn't tell you any prices. These are about 12 from what I can see here. And some Bambino or Polly, Polly, four. Whoa, four, that's not a lot. Here on this next hanging section, I see some nice Ripsalis and stuff, pseudo Ripsalis and Epiphyllum. Hey, Geert. Sorry, I just had to make sure that my boyfriend was okay because he's waiting while I'm filming. So I organized some coffee for him. Anyway, we're thinking of getting some of these for the greenhouse with like the nice tropical look still, but able to take the heat and the um, high sun. So I'm looking into these, even though I know nothing about them yet. Epiphyllum, pumilum, pumilum. Here's some string of dolphins, quite cute. I'm also thinking of putting these in the greenhouse. No idea if they will be able to take it, but I think because of the high light situation, that might be a good try. Better than in my house where I've killed several. 12 euros, Prasulata Hottentot. Also very funky looking, 10 euros. And some um, carnivorous plants. I always want to say flesh eating because in Dutch, literally translated, it is <laughs> flesh-eating plants. So quite interesting. I always have to think for a second. <laughs> they look really cool. 
Here are some Adansoni and Birkin with a nice spot of variegation on the Birkin. Oh, prices. Oh, these are in the good pots. Nice. But they don't have a price. Hold on. They probably do. I'm just blind. Yes. Seven. And the Adansonis are 15. It started to rain again, so the noises are really loud again. Here are some philodendron lemon lime that look very cool. 16. Hold on, there's a big cart. Okay, it's still raining a lot, but the car is gone now, so hopefully audio is a little bit better. Nope, it started to really pour down. There's some Floridas on this side. People call these Florida green, but they're actually, I think, just Florida. And these are 20. Nice big leaves. Oh, and some Brill Marks, 26. Looking kind of cool. I have a variegated one that is not variegated anymore, so I guess I have a normal one now. Oh, just this one to show you. Nice Stanleyana with good variegation. This, I love how they always offer these in such big pots and poles in Holland. Look, what is the price? 26. Philodendron Cobra, it's called here. But look, there's a nice variegation on this one. On the way back, I spotted this very cool Birkin leaf, half in half. And over on this side, they have some, oh no, this broke off. I'm gonna put that there. Variegated um, St. Paulias, whatever they're called. And uh, let's see, African Violets, that's the word I was looking for. St. Paulia Hybrid, special collection. Let's see the price, 13. Do you guys like these plants? Have you ever tried growing them? My friend Anz from Urban Jungling thinks I should get into these, <laughs> but she hasn't convinced me so far. This looks really, really cool though, I have to admit. Very cool. And then this last specials table also has the mojitos and some clarinerviums with new leaf. You know, new leaves. <laughs> you know I love new interim leaves. These are 18. And I guess some... Pink princesses? Yes, there's pink in them. And look how big this leaf is. This is really big. Very cool. And some white princesses or maybe one of the other versions, but very nice. Ooh, perfect half moon leaf, like actually perfection. That is very cool. Price is 100 and, oh, it's a white knight, sorry. 130. And the philodendron pink princess are that as well. And then I found some ghosts that are 150. Look, really mature big leaves. Oh my God, look at the back. Okay, we have to go over there. Ghosts, you're beautiful, but this King Princess is stealing the show. Look at this, huge leaves. This is incredible. It's hard to show you without actually showing you my face. So here we go. This is a fully pink leaf that is the size of my head. And then this new leaf, that is not variegated, it's even bigger, of course. Look at that. Have you ever seen a pink princess of this size? Whoa. And it's growing from caterpillars. Let me show you. I made a YouTube short video, check it out here if you want, about caterpillar growing. So here you can see this, this is a less mature philodendron and it's growing from the petiole of the previous plant and that is called a petiolar sheath. And once the plant starts to mature, it starts to grow these separate bits which are called a caterpillar, and it's like a little protective sheet to get the leaf out or at least that's my interpretation of it so here you see something that doesn't have a leaf on it because it's just the caterpillar, but it's still beautifully variegated so it's not just something and then this is the leaf that came out no that's not yeah this is the leaf that came out with the next caterpillar with the leaf inside so it is a very mature plant. Here's some more pink. Here's a few other philodendrons. Really big. Is this a pink pr um, prince of orange maybe? Cherry red, 70. Beautiful. And I wanted to go over here. There's some more pipers. Not because of that, but to show you some more ghosts with also very big leaves. And oh, more pink, nice. But also, Alocasia Silver Dragon. 
only 25 that's really nice because these are so much easier to grow from mature plants than they are from babies Ooh, variegation again <laughs> sorry that's just a joke inside joke um, but yeah they are very much easier to grow if you get a mature one so if you have trouble with the babies that we can get a lot more cheap try a bigger one and see how you go it might just be the babies that are little bitches look at this pink princess that is beautiful every leaf has really good variegation this is a really good one look variegation 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 mine are nothing like this mine are like black leaves with maybe one little spot of pink somewhere so interesting some of these are also um, an option for the greenhouse i'm thinking they will look really nice in red once they get the light that they deserve there like the tips are growing here so i'm gonna check with boyfriend if he agrees later <laughs> do you like these for the greenhouse no. why not ugly okay Ooh. i found one more very cool aisle with lots of stefania rectas these are 38 and look they're already growing and so cute mine is finally awake if you missed it on my stories i put mine in a plastic baggie because rogier my friend said that they like to have a humid environment so i put it in a plastic baggie and straight away it started to grow a little sprout so two actually so that's awesome if yours is not doing anything yet try it out and let me know how you go there's some other um, codexy plants here as well. No idea what they are, but they look very cute. This one as well with the nice flowers growing from a codex. What is your price, sir? Impatience Heng Klai, 50. And this is adorable, little bonsai baobab, baobab tree thingy. Different looking leaves. Tanya Erecta as well, but this also looks very different. And this is growing adorably around the thing. Great words, guys. And this one down here also looks really cute. It kind of looks like a Margravia, but on a codex. It is called Philanthus Mirabilis. Really cool. I guess that's it for this tour because we're at the end of the houseplant section. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Maybe joining my Patreon or my YouTube membership to get early access to videos and a really nice community to chat with. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye friends! <laughs>